Hello and welcome to the SAP HANA development for SAP Business One e-learning session, which will cover SAP HANA and extensibility. My name is Eddie Naveau and I am part of the SAP Business One Solution Architect team. The main objectives of this presentation will be to discuss the implications of two types of SAP Business One integrations, namely tightly coupled and loosely coupled solutions. In relation to the two integration options, discuss the overall architecture of the SAP Business One SDKs as well as the service layer and the use of SAP Cloud Platform in relation to extensibility. With this slide, I'd like to introduce some key terminology and abbreviations that will be mentioned during this session. Please come back to this slide at any point if you need clarifications. So let's look at extensibility using the SAP HANA platform. These next two slides show where SAP Business One has been with respect to integration and extensibility and where we're going. Using SAP Business One for SAP HANA, we of course still have the SAP Business One SDK components, such as the data interface and user interface APIs, as listed on the left. These can still be used with SAP Business One for SAP HANA with a traditional add-on. But with SAP HANA, we now have for data integration the service layer, which allows us to move from the SDK COM APIs to full server-side business logic using industry standards, such as HTTP and OData. For the user interface, where we have also used the UI API from the SDK, which is a proprietary to SAP Business One, we can now use standard off-the-shelf HTML5 for the presentation layer, which is an industry standard. So again, we can see how we are moving away from COM-based APIs to OData and web services that are natively built for mobile first. For traditional extensions, typically Visual Studio.net has been used. Now we have, with SAP HANA, the SAP HANA Studio and Web Workbench, which is an integrated set of tools for development leveraging the full SAP HANA platform and all of its advanced capabilities, such as OData, XMLA, Business Function Library, Predictive Analysis Library, R Integration, and many more. Instead of a client-based integration, where code is on the presentation server, where the SAP Business One client resides, like traditionally, now we can keep the code close to the data, i.e. all code resides on the server, and we are able to then leverage the service layer scalability and performance over the traditional client-side applications. And finally, what we have called add-ons with the traditional SDK integration are now simply applications, where we bring innovation closer to the data and with SAP HANA and service layer. Because of this, SAP Business One is now consumed more easily on your mobile device and browser. When we look at this slide, we can get the full breadth of SAP HANA. While SAP HANA is an in-memory database, the SAP HANA platform offers so much more than the traditional database. Some of the extensibility that comes with SAP HANA is high-performance analytics such as spatial analysis, text analysis, and data mining, modeling, predictive analysis, and graphing with integration to other services such as Hadoop, location-based mapping, machine learning, and the list goes on. For SAP Business One, SAP HANA is not only for analytics, but high-load, high-performance transaction processing that supports any device. Again, SAP HANA is by far more than just a database, as we have discussed. For SAP Business One for SAP HANA extensibility, the main integration point is the service layer. The service layer has the same business object coverage as the SAP Business One SDK data interface or DI API, but is built on core protocols such as HTTP and OData. The service layer offers high scalability through parallel processing as well as high availability through the use of load balancing. The SAP Business One service layer caters to the need for mobile and web applications and allows high volume transaction processing and analytics as you have a single box for online transaction processing, online analytical processing, and your development platform. So let's look at some of the different extensibility options. The first extensibility option shown here is the traditional method of integration with SAP Business One, using the SAP Business One software development kit and the DI and UI API 
in this case the solution is implemented with the SAP Business One client as shown. This method of extensibility can still be used today for SAP Business One for SAP HANA, SAP Business One Cloud hosted by a partner, on-premise SAP Business One implementations, as well as SAP Business One Cloud hosted by SAP. This method of extensibility is termed compatibility mode because regardless of implementation flavor of SAP Business One and or backend database, this method is still an option. This method of integration is also one of two tightly coupled types of extensibility. The next type of extensibility option is a pure SAP HANA play, where the solution uses the SAP Business One service layer, HTML5 and Fiori for the user interface, and XSJS, Node.js, and OData for SAP Business One data manip manipulation. In this case, the SAP HANA code is deployed on the SAP HANA server, keeping the code close to the data. This is the second method of tightly coupled integration because the code is deployed on and wherever the SAP HANA server is. The SAP HANA server and code can be deployed in an SAP Business One cloud hosted by a partner, an on-premise SAP Business One implementation, as well as SAP Business One cloud hosted by SAP using AWS, etc. In the previous two slides, we discussed tightly coupled solutions. Those methods have been the primary integration methods, that shared relationship of code, hardware, security, and operating system have worked well. But times have changed. Because of concerns around scalability, such as the number of transactions that are growing exponentially, the requirement for more agile deployment methods, quick implementation of new features and error corrections, and the need for more space in the software architecture, such as making use of third-party services, libraries, and other resources, the last type of extensibility we discuss is loosely coupled solutions. With loosely coupled solutions, the user experience has evolved tremendously with respect to how people interact with systems. The independence of platform, device, and operating system has become the new normal. With a loosely coupled architecture, you can choose to locate your solution not within the SAP Business One core, like tightly coupled, but instead host it somewhere else. You can choose where and how. SAP Business One simply acts as a black box. The service layer is the key component that enables your solution to interface with SAP Business One. The service layer wraps around all the business objects and processes of SAP Business One. This architecture provides freedom of options as to the user interface approach, enables you to deploy new features without changing anything in the SAP Business One landscape, gives you control on which customers have access to what functionalities, and in the end, allows you to leverage other services that were not part of the original scope of your application, such as machine learning, mobility, IoT integration, blockchain, and much more. In this example, the solution logic is hosted on another server distinct and not located with the SAP Business One implementation. The solution could be located on an SAP Cloud Platform server, an AWS server, Google Cloud, Microsoft Azure, etc. The connection point between your solution and the SAP Business One application is the SAP Business One service layer that is exposed via the internet. This last slide shows all the extensibility options that we just touched on individually. As you can see, you have different options for SAP Business One extensibility based on customer needs and partner skill set, etc. So to recap, tightly coupled versus loosely coupled solutions. Tightly coupled solutions sit close to SAP Business One data. For tightly coupled solutions, you have the ability to keep your solution close to the data because it is located with the SAP Business One implementation. Of course, this allows you to extend SAP Business One logic and SAP Business One itself. You have access to the traditional COM APIs as well as the service layer and OData locally. You can fully leverage all of the SAP HANA components on the SAP Business One HANA server. Your solutions lifecycle management, however, is bound to the lifecycle management of SAP Business One as far as major and minor releases of SAP Business One and patch levels. Your solution can be deployed as part of an on-premise implementation as well as a cloud implementation using this method. 
Security and system load issues, however, are tied to the implementation of the SAP Business One and SAP HANA software and infrastructure. With respect to loosely coupled solutions, the data and code for this type of solution is far from the data and not located with the SAP Business One data as tightly coupled is. In this case, SAP Business One is treated as a back end ERP system where you can interact with standard or customized Business One logic. You access SAP Business One data remotely via the service layer using HTTP and no data. From the performance side, latency between external cloud servers and SAP Business One servers is something to consider. You can fully leverage SAP HANA on the SAP Cloud Platform. Lifecycle management is completely independent of SAP Business One's lifecycle management. Another plus is that security and system load is not tied to the SAP Business One implementation infrastructure. As previously touched on, traditional extensibility using the SAP Business One SDK and B1IF for the integration framework is still available with SAP Business One for SAP HANA. The SAP Business One SDK stays the same as far as the data interface and user interface API, meaning that you have the same architecture based on COM, the same add-on methodology and lifecycle management, no changes to the SDK calls or object usage, the same SAP Business One stored procedures, such as the SBO, SPA transaction notification, as far as interface and coding practices. You can still use a DI server that is available, but that runs on a Microsoft Windows server and a HANA environment, as well as the integration framework, which also runs on a Microsoft Windows server in an SAP HANA environment. Something to consider, any direct access to the database with SQL queries needs to be migrated due to the different SQL syntaxes between SAP HANA and SQL Server. With respect to loosely coupled solutions, it makes sense to note that the platform used by SAP Business One partners is the SAP Cloud Platform. The SAP Cloud Platform is an in-memory cloud platform based on open standards. It provides access to a development cloud-based environment and a comprehensive set of services for integration, enterprise mobility, collaboration, and analytics. It enables customers and partners to rapidly build, deploy, and manage cloud-based enterprise applications by extending your SAP or non-SAP solutions either on-premise or on-demand. And SAP operates the SAP Cloud Platform as a platform as a service, which frees you from any infrastructure and IT costs and offers state-of-the-art quality of service, availability, scalability, and multi-tenancy. Thank you. This concludes the introduction to SAP HANA development for SAP Business One and SAP HANA extensibility. Thank you for your time.